welcome Susan, our skeptic today. Say hi, Susie. Oh, Sammy. Hi, guys. And I'm not skeptical. I'm just being realistic. Ugh, Slick Slam is gonna prove you wrong. Get ready for a wig flu. Okay, now we have traditional materials, like the acrylic paints and a painting knife. We can create something magical with them, too! Like a 3D painting! <laughs> Thanks, Sam. 3D painting? Do we need special glasses to see it? Nope, just your crafting skills and a tiny bit of imagination. Squeeze out the paint! All right, you've sold me the idea. Let's do it! Guys, check out this vibrant color! And the paint is so thick! And it's great fitness training! I can actually sell it as a fitness machine! Ugh, ugh. <laughs> but it works for slimes only! <laughs> anyway, let's use as many colors as we have! Wow, it's almost like a rainbow! Get ready! Slick Sam is gonna share with you a secret technique for simple 3D painting! Woohoo! I love the start! Now let's pick colors! Okay, I'll start with… this one. It looks so pretty! I'll go with another hue then! Look closer! It's the most important part! Smear the paint with the back side of the knife! Like this! You're doing great! Whoa, I guess it's not enough! It's alright! Just take a little more, like me! Now I'm ready to start! Wow, it's so exciting! Put the painting knife down and push it to the canvas! Got it! Let's smear the paint! Congratulations, Susie! It's your first 3D smudge! Keep going! Now I'm unstoppable! I want more! Okay, that's enough! Let's switch the hue! You can take mine! Let's push down again and smear the paint! Woo! And the Da Vinci pack turned our skeptic to the colorful side! It really works, guys! You should try! So it's time to change the color again! Let's pick a random color this time! I choose… you! Ooh, it's awesome! What do you think, Sammy? It's so creative! We should have done it a long time ago! Guys, check this out! We have one more painting on the palette! It's a new wave in modern art! And all of this would be impossible without… The, the Da Vinci pack. pack! Our painting is almost done! So, I made you change your mind, huh? That's for sure. What's next? Guys, we're gonna try this magic cotton swap! Da Vinci would be jealous of it! Whoa, so cool! Let's move on! We're making the second picture, and I want to draw flowers this time. Susie, hurry up! I have to pick the background color! Give me a second. Hmm, maybe I should pick these with white petals? Okay! The background should match the white color! Great! Or should I choose the red poppies? Red? Okay, we'll go with red then! I've changed my mind! Let's paint pretty pink roses! Pink! I got it! <laughs> Here's the background color! Ugh, it was a tough jog! Let's start with squeezing the color out on the palette! Wow, I love this color! It's like a clear blue sky! The first steps are pretty simple. We'll just apply the paint on the canvas… And then we'll smear it using a wide, flat brush! Easy peasy! Oh, it's so relaxing! Try to stay focused, though! <laughs> Wake up, sleepy! Let's move on to the next stage! Finally! Yay! It's my turn to shine! Let me help you, superstar! Check this out, guys! Susie, a painting knife, please! Thanks! Oh, we're gonna use the same technique as the 3D painting, right? This time we're mixing different ways! Be prepared for a big surprise! Let's make paint smudges with the painting knife! Holy cannoli, Susan, it's mesmerizing! Slick Sam is here with a new commercial break! This smudge 
doesn't look like a flower at all. But with our Da Vinci Cotton Swab 2000, the painting will transcend your imagination. Move your hand in spiral circles like this. Huh, it already looks like petals. Cotton Swab 2000 is working! And today, you can purchase it at the lowest price. Sammy, we don't sell anything here, but share our crafting tips. Okay, let's enjoy the process then. Give a thumbs up if you like this technique! We have rosebuds, but no leaves. This won't do. Let's draw some green leaves around, alternating between big and small sizes. <laughs> Check this out! Sammy has been drawing some leaves, too! Yeah! I don't want to forget my artistic skills! Wait, Susie! I have an awesome idea! Oh, yeah! Ah, ah, ah! Achoo! Oopsie! I guess I ruined the painting! Wow! It's a perfect idea! Sammy, you're rocking today! It was a mistake, actually. But it worked! <laughs> Another drawing is finished! We can open the gallery soon! There we go! Not till we test the smooth comb! It's the last piece from the Da Vinci pack! Okay, what should we comb with it? Maybe the painter himself? <laughs> no, but you were close! First, let's prepare the desk. Guys, get ready! It's gonna be messy! By the way, where should I put the canvas? Use this! Just place the canvas on the surface! Guys, an easel won't do this time. The canvas should be laying flat. Don't forget about the plastic cups! And that's it! We're ready! Um, so now what? Are we celebrating something? Susie, stay focused! Those are for the liquid paint! <laughs> Sorry, I've missed that bit. What color shall we choose? Interesting! Alrighty! I've already made a palette! What do you think? I love it! Let's fill the cups with the picked hues! Okay, now we have paints and an empty canvas! Let's do some magic! Someone said magic? It's science, my dear! You should follow the rules! Please teach me, oh wise wizard! Which color should I start with? Paintificus! Pickus! This one will do, Susan! Then blue it is! Now hold the cup above the canvas and start pouring the paint on the edge! It's not that hard! Guys, follow my lead and make a small paint pool! Draw a wide stripe with acrylic paint and hold the cup straight again! You're a pretty smart young lady! Repeat the same with that color! Easy peasy! Should I repeat it once more with the third color afterwards? Now you're taking my job away from me! Anyway, you're right, so let's do it! Guys, check this out! The paints aren't mixing! Let's fill up the canvas with colorful stripes! You've learned a few simple techniques, but those weren't enough. Then... I need them like... Then this smooth comb will rock your world! Susie, my assistant here, is going to demonstrate to you how it works! All you need is to run a comb through the paint stripes. This way. Oh, it feels awesome! And then you'll get this amazing result! That was mind-blowing! Let's double the results! Do it one more time! Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'd purchase the smooth comb myself. And you can purchase it, too! Just call! Oopsie! <laughs> yeah, it's not a real infomercial. But you can easily repeat this painting at home. And get your own amazing result! Guys, let's see our mini art gallery again! Stay tuned!
Hi all! We haven't drawn in a while, have we? This video will especially appeal to those who also have a damaged toothbrush like me now. Thanks, Sammy. Oh, come on, Susie! You always criticize my business ideas! And you always take my things without asking. Mm, this one. Let's add a few drops of purple now. Hop. And this spot clearly misses brightness. And uh, this one as well. <laughs> mm, this somehow does look like a toothpaste. <gasps> I got it! Sue, so, we'll be painting with a toothbrush instead of a brush, right? <laughs> That's right. But there's even more to that. And now, look carefully, because we won't be able to repeat it. Wow, this is top-notch, Sue! But I bet we can repeat it! <laughs> All right! Oh, what a clever slime you are, Sammy! Now we need to level the layer of paint like this. Go ahead. Whee! Let's rub it here and a little bit more. <laughs> well, this is fun. Oh, let me paint you too, Susie. <laughs> Sammy, cut <laughs> it out. <laughs> we'll use more paint to brighten up here and there and to add some accents. The main thing is to paint over this part of the canvas evenly. You know, I just don't get what exactly I was drawing. An abstraction? Hold your horses. <laughs> Soon you'll know everything. <laughs> Oh, it looks like something multicolored is falling down from above. <gasps> I got it! It's a rainbow ring! <laughs> Come on, Sam. Although you are right and there really is water in this picture. It'll be a beautiful deep sea and right on the shore of the sea has grown... Don't call it jungle! And no one knows who lives in its thicket. But I'll defeat them! <laughs> Stop distracting me! <laughs> and now we need to make some horizontal strokes like this. A couple of more smooth movements and we'll no longer need a toothbrush. And then what? Just boring painting with a paintbrush? Well, I wouldn't say that. Just what we need. And now the fun part. They call me a crafter in deep. I'm the king of a slimy beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky bomb, chick chicky bomb. <laughs> a little bit more, and this step is done. Really? Show me what we've got! Three, two, one. Now we have water, land, and this starry sky. Let's keep going. Susie, hello! Where are you? Sue, where did you go? Hello! Oh, where are you? Susan! Oh, there you are! I just went for some masking tape. With its help, we'll get a beautiful, smooth horizon line, like this. <laughs> easy peasy, give me that. There you go. <laughs> uh, no, not like that. We need Samuel Magnifique. Ooh la la, now I'll show you how he's done. Oh, Monsieur Magnifique knows exactly how to draw these. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, Susie. Samuel Magnifique is so hard this game today. Don't worry, neither of you spoiled our picture. And with a slight movement, whoosh! Ew, oh, this is such a relief! Thumbs up if you agree, people! And we continue to work with black paint. Obviously, it's night here on the picture, and in the dark, many objects seem just black. What? First a toothbrush, now a sponge? Do we have anything left in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is that we will have this wonderful picture. Oh, by the way, you still haven't said what exactly we're drawing here! Mm, right now I'm drawing a cute little boat. <laughs> Let's add a shadow from it on the water like this. It's not difficult at all. Mm, Susan, stop avoiding the answer! Whoa! Oh no! Well, now I definitely ruined oh, Sammy, it! Oh, you should be more careful. Hail to Bidaba, I know how to fix the situation this time too. If I knew what to draw, I would help you! Okay, I'll tell you. Really? This multicolored splendor actually is a city with many tall multi-story buildings. And this pink skyscraper is the highest of them. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's call it Sam's skyscraper! 
Wood. Sounds great, right? <laughs> well, then you can draw the windows in it. <laughs> Here, check this out. You just need to do horizontal strokes. And to make the buildings differ from each other, you can do this. Oh, don't teach him master, Susie. This is my skyscraper. I'll think of something. Well, no one doubts about that. <laughs> And a door. Sammy, how are things on the other side of the picture? It's fine. No, I'm not. So many windows. Whoa. Oh, poor little fella. Then I announce a short break. One, two, three. And one, two, one, two, three. Hey, Sammy, how are you doing back there? You know, I was looking out the window of my room and I realized <laughs> there are not so many tall buildings in our city. Well, who told you that I'm drawing our city? Maybe this is where I want to live. Or it's some kind of fabulous place that does not exist yet. Fabulous, you say? Oh, that would be nice. Hey, Sammy, buy a toothbrush. Buy a toothbrush. <sighs> that was just my imagination. What, a bit of the wrong dream, huh? Uh, yeah, let's be that, Sue, so that I don't dream of anything else. Anything to make you happy. <laughs> Great! We only need to add a few tiny details. This way it'll seem that the picture emits light. We'll add such lanterns here and there along the entire coastline. Are you calling these tiny little things lanterns? I would have never guessed. And what do you say if I do this? And now I'll do this as well. <laughs> what will Monsieur Samuel say? Oh, those reflections on the water are beautiful! Why, thank you, Mr. Great Art Critic. <laughs> Well, let's add light to the boat. All right. And now we'll draw its reflections in the water. <gasps> awesome. Now let's proceed and... <gasps> Who finished this? <laughs> A real master cannot pass by brushes and paints. <laughs> well, thanks. It only remains for me to add a few details here. Notice that Sue is working with a different color now? Then give her a thumbs up! And a finishing touch. Hop, hop. <laughs> Let's draw a few of these things down here on the embankment. And we'll add a few more here, right on the roofs of the houses. And on the roof of the sand skyscraper, too! No, it's already beautiful as it is. Here we go. Alrighty, Sue is doing the finishing touches, which means soon we can check out our painting! Hang in my room. It matches the interior. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm looking forward to our next meeting. See you later. And don't forget to hit the bell button. Hi, everyone. Today, Sam and I are in the mood for coloring. Come on and join us. All right, Susie. Let's see what new things you know that I don't know yet. Oh, Sammy, get ready to be impressed. Whoosh. Ah, you want me to work on the same picture? Okay, then. Not quite yet, actually. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Mr. Great Artist. But why do you need a scalpel? We are going to make a kind of stencil from this sketch. 
Remember to always be careful with sharp objects, guys, and try to work neatly, of course. There's no need to cut out everything, just the few most remarkable elements. I wonder where this is going. Ugh. Give us a thumbs up if you do too, guys! Okay, the brows, the eyes, and the lips are done. And we don't need this big part as well. Whoop. Now we will simply put our stencil on top of our sketch. This way. Uh-huh! The cutout parts perfectly align with the same elements on the sketch! That's right! And just to be safe, let's secure the whole thing with paper clips. Here we go! Shiver me cheddars, I think I got it! Now we're going to simply paint those parts with a brush, right? Well, you've got the point! Only instead of a paintbrush, we'll use this! Shiver me cheddars! This is gonna be fun! What do you say about all of these colors? Looking cool, huh? Holy cannoli! Let me come up closer! Alright, you can proceed now, Sue! <laughs> Let's roll! Now, Sammy, check this out! I bet it wasn't as boring for you as simple coloring would have been, huh? Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I wonder what else you've got up your sleeve. Ooh. The next in our coloring workshop is this young lady. Huh! She's too blurry to be colored with the paint roller, don't you think so? You're right. This time, we're gonna do some sketching. The best part of this technique, guys, is that you don't have to be too precise. Just place your marker against the paper and create! Use any colors that you want. Switch the width of the lines you're drawing by switching the chisel tip to the brush tip and back. Wow, what knowledge! The chisel tip will work best for the eyebrows if we use it like this. Up, 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 up. We can even add some shades and mix colors. Here we go. Okay, Sue, I want to try to do that too. Ah, what a bright color! Awesome! Ha, ah, I love that! Sammy? Where'd you go? I've got a terrific idea, Sue! Finish that sketch without me! Oh! <laughs> Sammy and his ideas! And there is even more yet to come! Sammy, we're waiting here! Ah, oh, come on, where did he go? Oh. What? Where did this come from? Oh, sorry, Sue, I had to run to the hardware store. And why exactly did you get this? Please don't tell me that your idea was to paint the walls in your room again. Actually, uh, yeah, the walls do bother me. But that's not the point! Better check this out! Are these watercolors? But I thought we were going with unusual coloring today. Stop being suspicious and make the big paintbrush rainbowy already! Okay, okay. In that case, the red color comes first. Guys, you can use any colors you want! While we prefer the Roy G. Biv palette. You know it, right? Well done, Susie! Now just make one nice diagonal stroke. Your wish is my command. Here we go. Guys, would you look at this? Amazing! See? I told you, my idea was brilliant! That's true. I really like this picture. Do you guys? Then give us a thumbs up. But how about something a little bit more complicated? Like a trip to Paris, for example. She built me chadels! Should I go packing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need your help here. 
Let's give this girl a remarkable hairdo. We need this. We're also going to use a sponge brush like this one. And acrylic paints of our favorite colors. By the way, guys, we love painting and coloring. And there are a bunch of videos about that on our channel. Oh, you should totally check them out. Ooh. All right, people, let's get started. The paint should just go straight through the stencil. Light and fast touches will seal the deal. An important thing here is to work sequentially. Sue is doing the very first layer. And I'm gonna make the second one! We'll carefully take the first stencil off of our picture and let it dry. Only after that can we move on to the next step. Roses are red, violets are blue. Slime Sam with a sponge a great picture can do! <laughs> you see? Easy peasy. Nice poem, Sammy. And well done with these clouds and a moon. But we've got to move forward. There are three more layers to go. Nice it must be to feel the wonderful city of Paris in your hair. You don't say, Sammy. Now this little Eiffel Tower will help us finish a few tiny details. And that's it. Watercolors will help us out with the makeup. And voila! A wonderful French lady portrait is finished. Oh, Champs-Élysées! Oh, Champs-Élysées! And if you want to know what's gonna come next over here, then you had better stay with us, don't go anywhere! Welcome back, guys. And here's one more girl without a hairdo so far. What are we gonna draw in her hair? New York? London? Tokyo? <laughs> Actually, this time we'll go with some sparkly glitter. But first, we need to draw the outline of her hairdo with glue. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get all the sparkles for my secret stash! I know Sammy loves shiny things. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to really be precise here. And by the way, you can make anything else sparkly on this portrait. I'm gonna add some glue on the girl's lips as well. Who's ready to see my precious collection of glitter? Haha! -ha. Wow, Sammy, you really brought everything you had. And note that not everything is pink here. <laughs> well, in that case, I want to start with the darkest hue. Here we go. Guys, you know that you can totally follow your inspiration with this craft, right? Oh, yeah. Get creative, and you will get a one of a kind. Very beautiful and sparkly portrait. Susie, do you mind? A little bit over here. And just a pinch right there. I like this type of art. <laughs> oh, I really like how this portrait turned out. Holy cannoli! But you're not saying that we're done here, right? I want to keep coloring! <laughs> there is one more technique that I've been long wanting to try. You should protect your tables for this, guys. Meet our last girl. Ooh, she looks like a girl I knew back in Tibidaba. Wait a second. Is that all drawn in a single line? Yup, cool, right? Awesome! In a few minutes, we'll try to repeat it in one single line as well. But first, Let's prepare this special watercolor paper for the coloring. The secret is not to spare the water, because watercolors really love it. That's why before you start working, you should secure your picture against the table with double-sided tape. And that part is done. Now we're just going to apply different watercolors onto the paper, creating a few random splashes and blots, like this. We'll use a brush to kind of direct the way they smear. Ooh. 
Is that a very professional color blending, Suzanne? <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for my personal challenge. Just make sure that everything's dry before you do this, guys. Why don't we let Sue finish her last piece of art for today? And in a couple of seconds, we will take a look at everything. Uh huh. Yes, I'm taking this one to my bedroom. Hey. One will look good there too. Well, Sammy, I guess your day was not so bad after all, huh? And what are these all about? Don't you get it? I'm planning what wall we should hang all the portraits on. And you're taking everything to your room? Nope, the glitter girl goes to the kitchen. Come on, will you help me hang them or not? Okay, okay. Guys, thanks for being with us today. Support this video with a thumbs up if you like drawing and coloring just as much as we do. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos with Sue and Sam. Bye-bye, everyone.